this is nothing uh, compared to how the weeds are laid out. But I'm, I'm working through with a daughter today. And, uh, no reason. I started with the day one and all. And I just get a couple of fish in this. I will be happy. They're definitely there. Um, I missed about four hits. This seems to be about 26 inch fish. There we go. I gotta go up on my drag. You can see the weeds on my line. But I know they're definitely there. Working through these here weeds with the darter. And I'll tell you why in a minute. I don't know, this could be the only one of the day. Oh, oh, just want to get them in for you. The rest will be all, all fun. Weedy conditions didn't stop us. Get out when you can. The fish are there. You just got to fish through it. Um, oh, there he goes. Let's see if we can get him. We got him. <laughs> I just want to cut off on himself, too. He's a keeper fish, too. He's a nice guy, he's definitely in there. But it's weedy. Oh, slow down. It's there he is. It's weedy out. I noticed a couple of things today before we caught this here first fish. He's out. Yeah, it's just these weeds. It's just tough fishing. There's a couple of things to do to get you those few fish. If you can notice, I'm keeping my rod tip high as long as I can. So I don't get weeds on the upper portion of my line as much. You can see they're really terrible out there. And But keep that rod tip high. As long as your lure is fairly clear of weeds, a little bit of weed ain't gonna hurt it like that. It's working in the water. So you wanna keep your rod tip up in the air. Um, you're not gonna avoid all the weeds, but you're gonna avoid most of them. And you're gonna lose time, but you're certainly gonna be taking weeds off of your line and in your dive. All right, we're gonna finish the night, hopefully with a fish. So fishing in the weeds isn't always fun, but it can be done. He looks like he could be a keep, keeper size fish. Right close in there. I probably missed three to one. So these are just tricky fishing. fishing in the weeds today actually I had a couple other like I said I had close to this uh, for every fish I had I probably had about three opportunities now the big question is why did I pick the darter um, I actually started with a minnow uh, just to check the water out 
and I did I don't think like uh, traditional striped bass fisherman angler I think as a fisherman in general uh, daughter is kind of like a, a shallow running crankbait so I want something that's going to ride fairly high not too deep I like that also when the daughter runs it's going to angle itself slightly up so the weeds will be propelled oftentimes away from the hooks so as your, your daughter is moving through the water it's angled up slightly not forward where those hooks are dragging behind it, it kind of rides through the water as that kind of swaying and darting and wiggling doing what it does if you wanted to go a step further use smaller hooks a narrower hook less than the width of your lure and you will avoid a lot of weeds but it is what it is and that's what i'm using so we have color we have the shape and then we have the action of the lure is why i chose to work with the daughter today whoa he might be the big one of the day he's ripping drag i don't know if that's current or all fish or weeds i got my headlamp in my bag maybe i'll get that ready but we are fished through the weeds today you can see today there's tons of weeds out and a part of fishing is fishing through stuff this is your tournament fisherman i'm not but a couple of things we're doing today uh we're looking to pull out fish or two are you filming so there's fair out there feels like a bigger class of fish too could be weeds i don't know actually i had one right before <laughs> shake me off you can see those weeds are really coming through now get them on this way hopefully see, it feels like just bigger fish well they're just fighting the harder these so it's night and we have the daughter still working us through those weeds Maybe the fish just turned on, but they've been out there in the day. Really hard, hard, hard fight for fish. Definitely in there. Close. He's right about 28. Right about 28. So let's get him on his way. And, uh, I'm, I'm a walk at home. We had striped bass fishing through the weeds. Oh. With the darter. Oh, that way. Take these weeds off color. I chose yellow. As far as color, I chose yellow because I thought I believe it's going to stand out strongly in those green weeds. I just heard, I believe if you use a darker color in the middle of those green weeds the lore almost becomes camouflaged so i like to go with a bright or a flashy color when i'm fishing in weeds so we got weeds we got a night a little bit of a challenge working with the daughter super strike daughter super strike daughter uh bit of a challenge at night but uh the fish are there so we're gonna fish through it oh there. coming in and we definitely have bass in those weeds at dark. Tom's been fishing through them. Just exciting. 
Get them all in here. Ooh, let me hit that on the side. I'm going to keep a class there. Start these off on his own. So I'm going to get him on his way. I'm going to turn off my light. And... All right. So a weed-free zone somewhere out in front of that outer bar. And I'm taking the time to hang my daughter uh, in that zone so they can see it. When it gets closer up to shore, that's where the weeds are concentrated. But also, that's where a lot of the fish are hanging. Right over the river. I didn't want to film that. There's a, a gentleman next to me. And I know people get superstitious on the lights. So. So I turned around, got him up on the bank. And we don't have too much of a light show. But the fish are definitely in the weeds. You can see my line, the mag daughter. Is working great. I and mean, they're all keeper class fish. That's for sure. He did that for us. So I'm gonna turn off my light and get him back in the water. We're working with the the daughter now. Through the weeds for striped bass. I'm gonna turn off my light. It's just the time you're actually fishing through the weeds and I think those weeds on, they'll blast off. The angles that you hit to avoid the weeds and your beat structure becomes secondary because you put yourself near a good piece of water but it could be covered with weeds so you kind of have to fish through a piece of water that's slightly less inundated with those weeds. I'm just trying to shake them off as I'm bringing it in. Again, we're just railing them still with the daughter at night. Look at his fin, right there. And just really tight fishing now. I got a nice rip I'm working. And I'm not working to play because there's a gentleman fishing to my left. I don't want to, I want to get in his way. got it uh battery just went off but i'm gonna get him on his way that's definitely another keeper he's up there by 30 32 easy so i'm gonna get him in the water working through weeds as you can see it's right on a rip now and uh, they really turned on at night okay so we are fishing through the weeds okay fish but let me get nicked by these here smaller fish which still is not a bad fish he's right up he's right up there slamming the daughter working through the weeds he looks like he can be close wow he's wild that's a wild one I'm gonna get him back. I'm really working those weeds. The stripers are smacking that daughter through the weeds. Yellow, rod tip high. Uh, what, uh, just gonna know they're there. So I'm gonna let this guy on his way and head on out. That's a little better fish. Still smacking them here. I'm gonna get them up. Ooh, I robbed it, I robbed it. But striped bass fishing with the daughter. It's night now. Picked up a, a bit. 
in the dark and they were around in the day to dig out my flyers wherever the heck it is hold on I brought them up on the bank there's a gentleman fishing right by him not far but I don't want to disturb So we got the darter, broad profile, yellow, we got the action, get the rod tip high, weeds in the water, striped bass fishing, it's night now, really nice bite, I'm going to get him on his way, he's definitely in there, so, really good stuff, thanks for watching, I'm going to get him off, most certainly a single single rear hook I would definitely put one in the middle too you'll avoid even more weeds with a single hook you'll avoid more fish too